Well, my, the books I, I pick up are a lot of, I've referred to them in the Treehouse books, such as the Dr. Seuss books. Um, I love those. I loved Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Um, I loved kind of the classic stories like Peter Pan, um, uh, Roald Dahl stories, but more the adult stories. So it was, you know, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was a big one. And a, an English writer, Enid Blyton, she knew how to tell a story. You know, she'd just get the kids at the, into danger by the end of chapter one, very little description, yeah. a lavish imagination. And so she was my real um, storytelling model really. And she had a book called The Magic Faraway Tree, yeah. where a tree full of incredible characters and also lands at the top that would come around like upside down land and yeah. shouting land. And really, I think the treehouse is, is kind of drawing on that sense of freedom and fun, but also the danger that you'll get trapped in one of these lands or you know, yeah. hurt by something in the tree. Yeah. So yeah, she was she was big. And horror comics. I loved comics. Um science fiction style, mad professors creating things in the, the laboratory, yeah. um, monsters rampaging over the city and people trying to stop them. Uh so so comics and books were interchangeable for me, which is why we write the, the Treehouse books, which are a, a kind of hybrid yeah. graphic novel, but with, with full narrative as well.